Good morning, everybody. Is everybody ready for Technique Tuesday? So today we are going to use some foil products on our earrings. And actually, you can use this foil product on so many different things. Um, this is a different kind of foil than the kind you'd find in your kitchen. So unfortunately, we can't use that. But we can use this beautiful foil that comes in so many different colors and patterns and I will put the link to the lady that sells all this beautiful stuff. So this is one of the items uh, that I have already foiled and hopefully the light is catching it so you can see uh, the, the different colors that we have in there. This started out as this peacock design and so I just went with a kind of a peacock type foil. So let's start with how do we get the foil onto the wood. We need an adhesive. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. One is use a spray-on adhesive. Do not spray this in your house. It will stick everything to everything. So take it outside, spray what you need to. This works really well. You need probably about five let's say 10 to 15 minutes after you spray it on you still want a little bit of tackiness to the item you don't want it to be completely dry but we don't want it super wet either the other option is a brush on adhesive that is sold at the same place as the foil is this one needs to set for about an hour so we all know I'm impatient so that's usually why I go to the spray adhesive. So this one has had spray adhesive. So did this one. So did this one. These were all done about mm, probably about 15 minutes ago. This one I did the brush on adhesive. So you can see the difference. This one I'm going to do last because uh, I just put that on there about 30-40 minutes ago. So let me pick Let's see, I want to use, let's use this on my butterfly. Now, with the foil itself, there's a right side and a wrong side. And the back side is the, the foil part that's going to go onto your item. This one, you don't have a, a clear, or excuse me, a foil color background, but this is the back side. So you can look and see all these different patterns and get these unrolled. Oh, little tip. I have these hanging on one of those pant hangers. Let's see if I can get this all in the shot. And I used my extra rolls from my Cricut vinyl to go ahead and just put them on here. So that way I keep them nice and rolled up and protected. So let's go with this pattern right here and you can see this one's called tie-dye orange pink let's get this out of the way and what you're going to do is take your foil and I'm going to do this whole butterfly at one time I'm going to gently lay the foil over my butterfly and then with your fingers press down you can see the outline of the butterfly there so remember, this has had the spray-on adhesive on it for probably 15 minutes now. Now, I also have this tiny little brayer. Do not ask me where I got this. I have no idea. It was in my, my piles of mini stuff. I'm going to gently press down. You do not need to find one of these. I just happened to find it and thought it'd be helpful to use. You can continue to use your fingers and just gently press. You don't want to drag, you don't want to scratch it, you just want to gently press it down. Okay, let's start there. And now I'm going to slowly peel my foil back. Oh, I can already see that corner didn't take any foil, so I'm going to lay it back down and press it again. And hopefully I didn't wait too long with this adhesive. There we go. And any area you see that it's not getting a good transfer. Lay it down. Do it again. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I'll hold it up to the camera so you can really see it here in a minute. And you can see where it's taking the foil 
top of the back side of this. So I'm just going to slowly, carefully keep watching as you're going. Mm, this is a pretty pattern. And the place I get the foil out of is in California. And the lady that has it, she's amazing. She has darn near foiled her entire house. I think if her uh, kids or pet would stand still long enough, she'd probably foil them as well. But she has a subscription club too. So if you really start liking this, I do su suggest that. And you get uh, rolls of the new designs that are coming out each month. So I'll put that information in the comments for you. Just a really a neat, neat product. No, she didn't pay me to say that. I'm just a regular customer. All right. So as you can see, see look at the the shine and the pretty colors on that I sure hope that's showing up on the camera all right I'll pick a different color to do the next one so that hopefully you'll see some contrast let's do hmm, let's go blue why not so I do have a tiny little bit of tape on the outside. So remember, this is the outside, not the pattern side. You don't ever want to put tape on the pattern side because you will pull your pattern up. And of course, my tape is sticking a little better than I'd hoped. There we go. All right, so blue, leopard. Here's my foil. So this is the side that's going to go down. Let's put this on this circle. Lay it on there. Press it down, smooth it with your finger, don't shake the table while you're doing it. I can use my little brayer if I wanted to, but fingers work just fine. Wish I didn't get that wrinkle in there, but I'm going to keep smoothing it out and you're never going to notice it. So do take your time with this and you will want to seal your earrings when you're done. So I do suggest a clear coat of your favorite sealant. I'm a big fan of spray cans. Look at that. Now any of these areas that didn't pick up enough color I can go back and lay this back down and rub again on just that little area and fill it in. I think I waited just a few minutes too long on this adhesive to do this, but that's okay. I can fix it. So I just go around and fix any other areas, or you could drop it a few times, or if you're okay with that, if you think it gives it some dimension, leave it alone. Now, this one is the one that I painted on the adhesive. And I'm going to show you how you can actually put two or more patterns or colors on there. So let me see. Let's say I want to do oh, some silver and blue. Take the silver. And what I'm going to do is use the edge of the foil and kind of make a line across my earring. Yes, these are the oversized earrings, again, so you can see what I'm working on, because otherwise my hands get all in the way. But the normal size for that is about that big. And then this does come in the two different sizes. I can make these bigger if you guys want, but I just made it super size for this demonstration. Okay, so I've got my silver unrolled a little bit and I want to use one of the edges. So if I kind of draw a mental line down the middle there and if you wanted to you could kind of take a ruler, line it up, uh, lay it on a piece of paper that's got some edges on it, line it up. You can't see that, so let's pull it back up here. Okay, we're just gonna wing it here. So I'm going to lay this down on one half. 
rub that down. Try not to get wrinkles in it. Get all the way to the edge. And I could do this half, third, angles, any which way you want to do it. Okay. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, missed the bottom and the side. That's okay. Lay it back down. Rub it. And it could also be that I did not get the adhesive on there fully. So if that's the case, you can go back in. Yep, that's what happened. You can go back in, gently add a little more adhesive to those areas. Wait your 60 minutes and try it again. So, yep, that one's a goner. So that's all right. We'll adapt. And then let's do... Oh, I changed on you. Let's do this other leopard on the other side. You can tell I hadn't planned out what colors I was going to use because I would have had this tape taken off before now. Or at least something to gently remove it. And you can cut smaller pieces off of here. If that helps you, I just like keeping them on the roll and working off of the roll. There we go. I just won't use that little part. Okay. So again, line it up with my edge. Press down and rub. rattle in the table there. Okay, really didn't do a good job on getting the paint on adhesive on here. So that's on me. Uh, do get a good coating on there and it will come out a whole lot better. So, but you get the idea where you're going to have two different patterns, two different colors, two different whatevers you want. So hope you've enjoyed our tutorial today. Have fun and let me see what you make. Thanks everybody.